Hello, today we're going to talk about geometric sequences and finding terms. All right, the first thing you need to look at is your formula for finding geometric sequences or terms. So A1, that's always your first number. So if I say I start with six donuts and then, so that's my start, it's my A1. Then my common ratio would be I start with six donuts and I double them each day. Double means two. All right, so the common ratio would be two. So I started with six donuts and I doubled them, I'd have 12 donuts then. Next time I multiply and I get 24, then 48, and exponentially grow. So whenever I say, this is just something. So if I say double, that means two. Triple, triple means three and quadruple means four. All right, so if I say I have six donuts, which I start with, and I say I triple those each day, all right, how many am I gonna have after four days? So six times three, four minus one. So that gives me three to the third, which is 27 times six. 27 times six is two, four, 12, 162, uh, 162 donuts after four days. All right, that is basically double triples and quadruples. Now we're gonna do four examples of this and finding the missing term. All right, here's our first example. I have a number of sequences. I wanna know the seventh term. So I need to figure out my whole formula. So I know what my A1 is, is two, but I, now I need the common ratio. So I'm gonna pick two, left over right. If you have, don't know how to do this, go back and watch my common ratio video because I'm not going to explain it. I'm just going to go through it sort of fast. Uh, so six over two, which is three. So that makes sense because two times three is six times that is 18. 18 times three is 54. So my common ratio is three. So I plug all this in. A, I want to find the seventh term equals my A1, which is two times my common ratio, which is three to the seven, because that's what I'm looking for right there, minus one. Make sure you do your order of operations first. Do not multiply the two times the three first and get six and then take it to six power. In your order of operations, you do parentheses exponents. So that's three to the six power times two. All right, three to the six power is 729 times two gives me 18, four, five, gives me 1458 is my answer. Here's our next example. So a sub n equals a one times r n minus one. My a one is five. And my common ratio, I'm just going to take my first two numbers, negative 10 over 5, which is negative 2. So then I plug everything in. I'm looking for my 10th term, so a sub 10. My a1 is 5, it's always my first term, times my common ratio, which I found to be negative 2, raised to the 10 minus 1. It's all about plugging stuff in here. So then I get five times negative two raised to the ninth. I get 512 times five equals negative two, five, six, zero is your answer. If you're looking for a larger term, so anything above like five, you're gonna get some pretty big numbers. And that is because this grows exponentially. If you haven't heard, seen the exponential functions, it starts very slowly and shoots up. With a linear function or an arithmetic sequence, arithmetic sequence or arithmetic sequence, it goes very slowly and constantly. These grow very, very fast. So I started with five and by the 10th term, I'm already at 2,560. All right, here's our third example and it deals with a fraction. So a sub n equals a1 times r n minus 1. Our a1 
is 20, because that's what we always start with. Our common ratio, though, is a little bit different. So 10 over 20. Those two I'm going to take. Always do your right over your left. So a lot of people do 20 over 10, make this two. Make sure you're paying attention to the right over left. So it gives you one half. So A, I'm looking for my sixth term. A1 is 20 times my common ratio, which is one half, raised to the six minus one. So that's 20 times one half raised to the fifth. One half raised to the fifth is, I don't remember, but the whole answer becomes 0.625. So my sixth term is 0.625. Don't worry about the fractions, just use your calculators. All right, this has been geometric sequences, finding whatever term. I gave you a regular one, a negative one, and a fraction one. Um, I hope this helps and good luck.